Welcome to our Bellroy Transit Backpack 28 liter review. One of Bellroy's newest and most hyped packs. Is it for you? Is this the right color? Is it comfortable enough for the price point? By the end of this review, you'll know the answer to all those questions. And if this is not the pack for you, definitely stick around to the end because I'll make some alternative recommendations for packs that I think might better suit your needs. Okay, let's start off with the gist of the Bellroy Transit backpack. Not to be confused with the Bellroy Transit work pack. We just were very confused. The Bellroy Transit backpack is one of Bellroy's newest offerings. Kind Kind of close to their Venture series. It uses a very similar ripstop nylon material. I think it's the exact same ripstop nylon material. The same PU coated glossed zippers. But it's also bringing some new things to the table. It's a 28 liter bag with clamshell opening and features that are better suited, as they put it, for short trips or longer days. God, that's good copywriting. I love that. We've got a clothes compression strap right here. Great for those short trips. A minimalist interior with phenomenal materials. We've got some quick access and good organization in the front. Decent comfort and ventilation on the back and a couple of side pockets. The bag currently comes in three sizes, a 20 liter, a 28 liter, and a 38 liter. For me, 28 liters is perfect for one bag travel. It's gonna fit a lot of the carry-on requirements for most airlines, and it'll give you enough space for that two to three day trip, no problemo. The bag currently comes in three color options, black, ranger green, and night sky. It should also be noted that the different colors are actually different materials too, and I am absolutely obsessed with the material on the night sky. This ripstop nylon is just so cool and so water resistant and so durable. The bag comes in weighing a pretty respectable 2.4 pounds. This is the bag when it's empty, and this is the bag when it's fully packed out and worn on me. For reference, I'm five foot eight. And I'm gonna pack the bag out throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. All Bellroy products are backed by their three year warranty. And for all this, the 20 liter costs 200 USD. The 28 liter costs 260 USD. And the 30 liter costs 320 USD. Now if at any point in time you are thinking to yourself, holy yes, 110% yes, Take me on a transit with this bag, I'm buying one. And you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being, that link makes sure that you get the best price and we often have discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate, thank you. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Bellroy Transit backpack. First up, branding, Bellroy, always super subtle, never too loud, never Bellroy, always Bellroy. And I love how they put it on this leather tab, which helps to give it another aesthetic component. And the cool thing is that this logo doubles up as an external carry solution, right? So you can clip a carabiner on there. If you are a biker, you can put a bike light on there. Little double whammy, you gotta love a feature that serves two purposes. Next up, the materials. I praise these materials enough, it's just, it's just so cool. The water resistance, I love the feel, I love the look. It's got a hip yet still professional vibe to it. Yet again, something that Bellroy just does better than anybody else. But what good is looks if it doesn't have functionality? Let's talk about access with this first pocket right here. Like I said, Bellroy is utilizing these PU coated, that means polyurethane, which means heavily water resistant, glossed YKK zippers. YKK make the best zips in the game. PU coated zips are a little bit more thick, you know? They take a little bit more oomph to kind of open them, but you're getting that extra durability in return. And then you can See, this pocket is actually quite big. It runs here to here to here to here, big old square, and it serves two purposes. The first is quick access. Now, probably for me, the most important feature on a backpack is quick access, because I'm lazy. I don't want to take my bag off, put it on the ground, open it to grab things. I just want to be traveling, you know, I'm like in an airport in Geneva, and I'm like, oh, I want my wallet. So instead of having to take my bag off to grab my wallet, I just do one of these unzip, grab the wallet, good to go. And that's what this pocket provides. We have a key leash, obviously great for your keys. Kind of a cheap solution, but it gets the job done. One thing to note though, I'm not really a fan of this solution because while it does give you quick access to your keys, your keys are gonna kind of be flying all over the place and moving around. I would have maybe appreciated some sort of little pocket that you can just sort of neatly tuck those away in, but at least you have the quick access. From there on the side, we got one, two pen holders. This is obviously in line with Bellroy's target audience, business travelers, creatives, right? And then you got one pocket right here. Since I got the pens there, I think this is a spot for a good small notebook, little moleskin, perfecto. But then notice we still have a bunch of space in this pocket, and it's kind of bulky. I mean, you can fit, you know, your overhead headphones in there, throw a small pouch in there. Like, you might be surprised by what you can actually fit. So bigger, bulkier things, but if you're looking for like a, like a admin compartment, like think like the Nomadic backpack, where it has all these little pockets for all your little things. That's not what this is. It's definitely more like a throw-all with a couple of small organization spots, but that also gives you more versatility. Done, let's talk about the middle 
of the Bellroy Transit Backpack. On either side, we actually have the same pocket, both sides. And these pockets are ideal for water bottles, right? I got a few different water bottle options here. I got a 17, a 22, and a 34 ounce. The Lark 17 ounce should fit in this pocket, no problem. Oh yeah, plenty of room to spare. Check the other side, if you're a double hydration type, the 22 ounce Columbia, a little bit tighter of a fit. We're still in there, but this big MF for the 34 ounce, sir. Let's try and get that in there. I don't know, nope, that's not gonna work. So that's what you have to keep in mind with water bottle pockets like these. These are a little bit less versatile, but no matter what you have in them, let's say we got the water bottle on one side and I got an umbrella and a tripod on the other side. They're always hidden, right? Which keeps you significantly more streamlined when traveling. For me, I'm not a big fan of when you got like a big clunky water bottle right here. You're running into like suitcases and small children, right? Like it's just like a bulkier, wider experience. This slims it down without ever compromising access. Because when you're thirsty, swing it on over, your water bottle is still accessible. But keep in mind, it is compromising the space of the main compartment, giving a take with everything. Speaking of the main compartment, let's get inside though. Yet again, YKK glossed PU coated zippers and a really nice clamshell style opening. Now, clamshell style bags are ideal for travel. This opens everything up like a suitcase. And like a suitcase, we have this compression straps, right? So you can keep your clothes compressed. But let's start on the other side first. And this whole panel sort of keeps in line with Bellroy's love for minimalism. We just have one, two pockets. The top pocket is just a smaller one. We have this mesh right here. Really nice, silky, expandable mesh that Aaron loves. And given the smaller size, I think it's good for smaller bits of gear. So for me, I'm going to put my AirPods in there, some gum, tissues, zip it up. Mesh is great to you because you can see through it, kind of. Yeah, so you know exactly what you put where. And then we have this larger pocket. This guy is the whole width of this. It even runs behind the smaller pocket. And it's like half visible with the mesh and also half not. Yet again, like the front, this is super versatile so you can fit thicker things in here. Like I got the Bellroy desk caddy and a couple other pouches, right? So you can put those in there and like, really bulk it up, or it's even advertised on the Bellroy website as a good spot for like a dress shirt, right? That you want sort of stored, sewed away separately so it doesn't get wrinkled. I don't wear dress shirts. I wore one for my wedding, I think. But not really my thing, so I'm gonna throw a notebook in there. Call it a day. Now let's talk about the other side. No pockets, no organization. We just got a big old canyon of a main compartment and then the compression straps. This bag is 28 liters and it feels like a 28 liters yeah. I'm the kind of person who likes to travel with packing cubes. They're kind of controversial. Some people say they give you more space, some say less. I just like the organization. So I got the packing cubes from Tortuga and you can see they fit really nicely in the main compartment. Oh yeah, throw a couple cubes on top. Dop kit with all my bathroom stuff with the Day Owl cord pouch packing cube right there. You can see sort of everything's in its place. And now I use the compression straps. Now I use quotations for compression straps because they're not gonna like hardcore compress your stuff, but they will help to give you a sense of additional tidiness and organization that for me is always appreciated. Now you can see we're loaded up. That's a good week's worth of clothes for my trip to Switzerland. One last note in the middle. We have this pocket on the top, which is pretty small and not very versatile, which for me, it doesn't have to be because it's obviously a sunglasses pocket. I carry one pair of sunglasses wherever I go, sometimes two. So this is a good spot for it. And the material is some sort of microfiber, anti-scratch material, just help keep your glasses extra safe. But keep in mind, now that we're all packed out, the water bottle holders are getting a little bit tighter, right? So accessing these is gonna be tough. You just gotta understand, everything is a give and a take. And the reason I know this is I'm not sure if you know, but I'm actually building my own backpack and I'm documenting the entire thing here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if you wanna see what it takes to build a game-changing backpack from the ground up and see me make decisions in real time, like what I'm doing with the water bottle holder and how I'm making it work with the main compartment and is it actually all these different things that I'm trying to juggle. And if you wanna vote on all these different things, be sure to check out the second link in the description, which will tell you more about where we are in the project so you can get involved. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. Now let's talk about the back of the Bellroy Transit backpack. First up, we have a laptop compartment. It's only a little guy, one quarter, okay? But there's a few things I like about this compartment. First up, we got this section right here. It's sort of like a hard shell pocket, which is really cool, because obviously I know what's going on here. What would be better to go here than obviously your chargers? So this pocket is big enough for a 16 inch MacBook Pro. You go ahead and slide that in here. I got a 13 inch, so it's got some room to spare. And then on the top is the tech stuff. And let's see the actual Mac charger, right? Go ahead and pop that in there. Does it fit? Really, really, really nicely. I've reviewed so many bags and I've never seen one quite like this before. And I'm kind of into it, like really into it. Reason being, obviously like my, I need to bring my computer charger. And I never had like a perfect spot for it. And this just really makes it work. And that hard shell helps just kind of protect it against the laptop, right? Because if your laptop's pressing against the charger, you just don't want your laptop to be in that position. But one cool thing, 
is if you're super into Bellroy, like I am, and you have their desk caddy, which you should, because it's so cool. Big fan of this thing as well. It's advertised, this compartment, to fit the desk caddy perfectly, and they are not wrong. Pop the desk caddy in, close it into place, and now you have a truly modular ecosystem that really works as like a portable office. Love what Bellroy's done here. Great freaking work. But do keep in mind that due to the quarter opening that when this bag is fully packed out, it might make it a little more challenging to grab your laptop sometimes. Just something to keep in mind. Next up is the top handle. A big travel pack like this, you don't need like a super beefy top handle because you're not gonna carry it like this for super long periods of time. At least I'm not. Let me know in the comments below. Like, do you use this top handle to carry your travel bags for long periods of time with? Not my thing. But it's nice to have when you do need it. And this is a good top handle, has enough space for your hand. And in Bellroy's typical I know fashion sense, they made it beautiful, well designed, great material, nice to the touch, well done. Now let's talk about the comfort of the Bellroy Transit backpack. Comfort for me comes down to two things, padding and ventilation. Their comfort is one of their more controversial aspects. Allow me to explain why. Don't get me wrong, there's still comfort here. The shoulder straps, they have the nylon on the outside and a really nice padding on the inside with this material right here, which feels a little spandexy. It's smooth, not too rough. Overall, it's definitely got better padding than a lot of other Bellroy packs that I've reviewed, and it should at 28 liters. But one thing to note is the thinness of these straps. Now, the most comfortable backpack company that I've reviewed consistently is Air. And Air has something I call the Air Mattress Experience. And they got these thick shoulder straps. And they're heavy and they're bulky, but it's like a mattress on your shoulders. They're thick and they're wide. These thinner, not quite as padded, and they sort of cut. Now, that cut is beautiful. It looks really nice aesthetically. And you're like, damn, I am sexy. But it will eventually maybe slightly cut into you a little bit. I've heard different perspectives on this, but I will say in comparison to some other bags, these shoulder straps are probably not the most, most, most comfortable. But one thing that helps is having a sternum strap, magnetic, gotta love that. Magnets and backpacks go together like tacos and tequila. You can go ahead and secure that into place. And unfortunately, Bellroy did not provide a web holder. So therefore we have dangle. Aaron doesn't like dangle. I would prefer like a little thing. We can just go ahead and tuck that in. Let's see at the bottom. Okay, Bellroy was kind enough to offer the dangle stoppers though at the bottom. So thank you for that, Bellroy. And one last point on the sternum strap is it is removable. You can go ahead and pop it out and pop it right back in at the top. Now finally, let's talk about the back panel. I actually like this material and I like the panel itself. You hear that like that, I don't know, what's that instrument where you like, like you know, like one of those like they, they played in like Alabama in the 1850s. That's what's going on in the back panel. But it's got a nice comfort to it and we have cuts for ventilation. Keeps your back nice and cool, especially on those hot sweaty days in Bangkok or in Cambodia or wherever you're traveling to. And this cut right down the middle will also help to provide ventilation. Yet again, to me, not as comfortable as perhaps an air backpack. They just specialize in that. But I will say compared to other Bellroy backpacks, this is one of the more comfortable ones that I have reviewed. So props to them. But while I'm giving them props for their comfort, uh, I wish that there was a luggage pass-through holder of some kind here and there is none. So do keep that in mind. Okay, let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Bellroy Transit backpack. Pro number one is top-notch materials, particularly this ripstop nylon on the exterior. Pro number two is it's really impressive capacity. And pro number three is that you hydration enthusiasts out there are going to love that there are not one, but two designated water bottle holders on this bag. There's some cons of this bag. Here they are. Con number one is there is a lack of organization, especially in the front compartment, at least for my taste. Con number two could be, for some of you guys, the comfort of the cut in this shoulder strap. And con number three, although I was praising these side water bottle pockets, the negative of that is when this bag is really packed out, it sort of like warps the shape. These get really tight, making it more difficult to access and use the bag in general. But. Let's say you've weighed out the pros and the cons. And you're like, Aaron, I don't know why I'm here anymore. I should have bought this thing 12 minutes ago. And you're gonna make a purchase. Just remember, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. Remember, that link makes sure that you get the best price. And it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. But you also might be here not to make a purchase, but to hear those promised alternative recommendations. Here they are. Alternative number one is going to be the Nomadic Travel Pack. This is for you if the Bellroy Transit was not businessy enough. You want a more professional aesthetic while still having a ton of versatility and organization. To learn more about the Nomadic Travel Pack, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Able Carry Max. This is for you if you really like the vibe that Bellroy was going for, but you want a bit more comfort and just a bit different of a take. And you can learn more about the Able Carry Max 
by taking a look at the description below and finding a link to our full review. And finally, alternative recommendation number three is going to be the Air Travel Pack 3. One of the most iconic travel bags in the world. This is for you if you want more organization, better comfort, and dual exterior water bottle holders. It's one of my favorite packs, and to learn more about it, you can just watch this video right here. And be sure to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I answer every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.